Welcome, today we're gonna do a cut with scissors on the top, we're gonna use number three and we're gonna make taper the cymbers on the back. We are gonna start the haircut, we're gonna start using number eight, we're gonna use the technique trapping the hair against the clipper to cut it. This way cutting the hair with scissors on the top at the end is gonna be easier. We're gonna comb the hair down and we're gonna organize the hair for the cut. We're gonna use number five a bit lower than we use number eight. We are gonna use number four a bit lower than we use number five. We are using the clipper in a diagonal position to avoid making a line while we advance with the haircut. We're gonna use number three a bit lower than we use number four and we're gonna continue using the clipper in a diagonal position. We're gonna make the taper on the sideburns and the back without making lines. We're gonna make the taper on the sideburn area, we're gonna start using number two in a diagonal position. Then number one and a half a bit lower than we use number two and also in a diagonal position. We're gonna use number one with an open blade, we're gonna use it a bit lower than we use the one and a half and we're gonna continue in a diagonal position. We're gonna use number one with a closed blade a bit lower than we use it with the open blade. Open the blade to use the 0.5 and we're gonna use the border of the blade and we're gonna use it a bit lower than we use number one with a closed blade. We are using the border of the blade. You can use number one to polish the blend we did with the 0.5. We're gonna continue with the outline, we're gonna use the trimmer. We're gonna start making the sideburn on the left side. You can use this part of the comb to extract the hair hidden on the skin. Organize the hair for the cut, comb the hair to the left and cut it. We're making the outline all the way down. We are using number two to make a middle connection between the sideburn and the neck area. We're gonna continue with the right side. We're gonna start using number eight. We're gonna use the technique trapping the hair against the clipper to cut it. This way cutting the hair with scissors on the top at the end is gonna be easier. We're gonna comb the hair down and we're gonna organize the hair for the cut. We're gonna use number five a bit lower than we use number eight. We 
we are gonna use number four a bit lower than we use number five. We are using the clipper in a diagonal position to avoid making a line while we advance with the haircut. We're gonna use number three a bit lower than we use number four and we're gonna continue using the clipper in a diagonal position. We're gonna make the taper on the sideburns and the back without making lines. We're gonna make the taper on the sideburn area. We're gonna start using number two in a diagonal position. Then number one and a half a bit lower than we use number two and also in a diagonal position. We're gonna use number one with an open blade. We're gonna use it a bit lower than we use the one and a half and we're gonna continue in a diagonal position. We're gonna use number one with a closed blade a bit lower than we use it with the open blade. Open the blade to use the 0.5 and we're gonna use the border of the blade and we're gonna use it a bit lower than we use number one with a closed blade. We are using the border of the blade. You can use number one to polish the blend we did with the 0.5. We're gonna continue with the outline, we're gonna use the trimmer. We are gonna start making the sideburn on the right side. You can use this part of the comb to extract the hair hidden on the skin. Organize the hair for the cut, comb the hair to the right and cut it. We are making the outline all the way down. We are using number two to make a middle connection between the sideburn and the neck area. We are gonna make the taper on the sideburns and the back without making lines. We're gonna make the taper on the neck area. We're gonna start using number two in a 45 angle degree going up to start making the taper on the neck area. We're gonna use the one and a half a bit lower than we use number two. We're gonna use number one with an open blade and we're gonna use the border of the guard and we're gonna continue blending the neck area. Use number one with a closed blade a bit lower than we use it with the open blade. Open the blade to use the 0.5 and focus and clear the darker areas on the neck area. We're gonna use the trimmer and we're gonna make the outline on the neck area. We are making the outline on the neck area square. The top we're gonna do it with scissors, we're gonna use the cutting scissors, we're gonna comb the hair to the right and we're gonna use three fingers touching the scalp. We're gonna cut in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position. We are making solid cuts. The crown area we're gonna cut it using two fingers touching the scalp. Cut in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position.
comb the hair to the right and connect the guy line on top with the right side. Remember, in the crown area we use two fingers touching the scalp. Continue with the third lateral section, we're gonna connect the guy line we did on top with the guy line we did with the clippers at the beginning of the cut. Adjust your hand before the cut so this area is square. Comb the hair to the left and connect the guy line we did on top with the left side. Remember, in the crown area, we use two fingers touching the scalp. Continue with the third lateral section, connect the guy line we did on top with the guy line we did with the clippers at the beginning of the cut. Adjust your hand before the cut so this area is square. We're gonna texturize the hair, we're gonna use the texturizing scissors, we're gonna use two fingers and we're gonna do two cuts going up. This angle you can see making the two cuts going up. Also texturize the right side and the left side. We're gonna make another round, this time we're gonna use two fingers and we're gonna make one cut. In this angle you can see the texturizing of the hair making one cut. We also texturize the right side and the left side. We also can texturize the third lateral section. We're gonna cut scissor over comb in a 45 angle degree going up. We texturize the right side and the left side. We're gonna shave the edges, we're gonna use the straight razor and the shaving cream. If you are a righty, this is the correct way to shave the sideburn on the left side. Careful with this sensitive area. We're gonna open away with the straight razor and the rest we're gonna shave going down. We're gonna start with the blow dry and style of the hair. This part, we're gonna comb it to the front. We are using a close tooth hairbrush to create volume. We are gonna comb the front part of the hairstyle up. In this case, we use pomade with a medium hole and shine. This is the final result, the top we cut it with scissors, we use number 3 on the sides and we make the taper on the sideburns on the back with the 0.5. I hope you like my video, if you like it share it, thanks for watching and see you next time. These are some of my previous videos, I invite you to watch them and if you like them, hit the like button and subscribe.